Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm doing a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 12 layout together. I have uh, two, well, it's one Instagram photo, and I wasn't sure which size I was going to use, so I printed it out at 2.8 2 by 2.8 and at uh, 3.9 by 3.9. And I'm just looking through my forty my my thirty fourth Street uh, Studio Calico kit, which is the December kit. I don't have any add-ons at this point. I do have some add-ons on the way. I think they're arriving tomorrow. Um, so I uh, used my silhouette cameo to create these Polaroid um, little frames, and they're based on another product that I don't know who makes it. it could be Heidi Swap that I saw somewhere and I just thought I think I have actually ordered some of those but um, I just thought I could easily probably make those it's just two it's just a rectangle and a square nested so I figured I don't have great design skills but I figured I could at least do that with my cameo and it, it turns out pretty good I really like it so I uh, did a couple options there just because I wasn't sure which size photo I was going to use and so I'm just using my glue pen around the edges there so I don't make a mess with my glue gun. And I'm putting a little clip on it to, to keep it down while the glue sets. I've decided to use that bigger one for Project Life and stick with the small one. Um, I do have some pink paisley frames there that I was kind of thinking about maybe switching up, but then I thought, no, I made these. I'm going to use the, the white ones. There's my um, layout information form. I just keep track of my supplies and stuff on that. And I do that just for like when I go back to put it on my blog. And if I if I were to submit it for a um, magazine publication or whatever, it's nice to know um, what products I've used. So this is a piece of my mind's eye paper. And I'm just, although I love the backside with the really neutral chevron, um, I've decided to, at the last minute, I wasn't going to do this at all, I was going to use the chevrons, um, but at the last minute I decided to cut out some of these great circle shapes. They look kind of Celtic and kind of doily-like, I just really, really like them, so I thought I'd use them. And as I was cutting out those circles, I was mindful of the fact that I was pretty sure I'd want to do a... Um, chevron cutout as well so I'm on a chevron cutout kick I've this is probably my third or fourth chevron cutout I've done recently um, I do that I kind of get in a kick where I like something and I use it a lot that blue striped paper is um, Amy Tangerine from the Ready Set Go collection and the reason I chose that paper is I knew that a lot of this layout was going to have um, pinks and oranges in it and I just thought that the blue would be a nice contrast for all of those pinks and oranges and um, so I'm just having a look at what embellishments I might use because it helps me decide what layers I'm going to put in place. So I'm cutting up this blue paper, which I'm later going to regret, but um, it, I cut it up a bit too much. <laughs> um, but anyways, we'll, we'll get to that. So I'm just kind of, here's where the layout starts to come together. So until now, I didn't really have much of a sense of what I was going to do. Um, but now I know that I want, uh, you know, basically a cluster off to the right there. I'm just hand cutting some of those arrows and that is from a Studio Calico paper. And I'm not going to actually end up using these arrows on this layout, but I thought I was going to. So I cut out two little um, strips of them, but I will use one of them on the 6x12 that I'm going to do right after this 12x12. 12 12. And the two layouts are sort of sister layouts. I, you could think of it as a one and a half page layout or I don't know. Um, Anyhow, now I'm looking for stamps that I can use to stamp on the Polaroid. What I don't know yet is that I've actually assembled this Polaroid inside out so that the textured cardstock is on the outside. And here I am looking at it and realizing, oh darn, the textured side is out. So um, I decide that I want to stamp anyways, even though I know that it's not going to come out real great. And I just decide to kind of go with it. So I stamped a part of that number stamp, and um, you can tell that it's textured cardstock, so it's got a texture to how the stamp came out, and I don't mind that. It looks okay. Um, and now I'm taking my new Studio Calico roller date stamp, and I'm going to use neon ink, which is the stinkiest ink I've ever smelled. Um, 
and I just use the one for the books just because it's about my 40th birthday and that's one for the books. So I'm going to put all my stamps away now and try to figure out how I'm going to layer all this stuff together. Now it's a little bit tricky layering things, smaller things behind bigger things. So um, so yeah, that orange and pink card is going to take me a while. Okay, now I am... Um, Right, so I used that Classic Stars Martha Stewart punch on the gold glitter paper that came in the kit. And you didn't see that because I forgot to um, record it. It was turned, the, somehow the video camera got turned off. Um, then I crinkled up some shiny vellum, but I didn't like the look of it, so I took it off. Then I just tore a piece of crepe paper, and uh, I like the look of that better. So that's going to be my layer in front of the gold paper. And I mean, basically what I'm trying to do here is cover up some of the blue, because there's just way too much blue showing. And I just wanted the blue as an accent, not as a, a main color on the, on the layout. So I had to go back and figure out how I was going to cover it up so that glitter paper seemed to do the trick and then um, then the glitter paper was too glittery so I put the, <laughs> so I put the uh, crepe paper that you see me putting on there right now I put that over top so now I'm outlining this um, circle even though I don't really need to it doesn't make that big of a difference and I ended up forgetting to outline the other circles on this layout so it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah so now I'm going to, um, you know, finally glue down all my pieces that I've been layering and cut off the edges. And now it's kind of really starting to come together and I have a better sense of where I want things to be. I did outline the chevron paper just to give it a bit more dimension and stand out a bit from the background paper. And I'm going to use that pinkish, um, clip eventually um, and now I, I don't know what I'm thinking about here but uh, I'm trying to figure out whether that orange piece is going to go above or below and that's just the decorative strip that's on the back of the manufacturer's strip for the um, I think it's for the main paper the the main background paper so there's those fifth and frolic uh, brads and I took the colors from those brads because I knew I was going to use a lot of those brads in this layout and uh, I picked up picked out the washi tape which is actually from my mind's eye the the chevron one uh, because it had a lot of the same colors it had yellows and oranges and pinks and uh, so and then I also added a strip of just yellow washi tape as well and so those three things the two strips of washi and then that that airmail striped uh, strip become kind of three horizontal elements and now I'm layering those two tags that came in the kit they're both studio calico tags um, it is hard to layer two small things behind a big a bigger thing um, so I'm sort of just playing with it to get it so that they're peeking out both above and beside the Polaroid frame I put a strip of washi tape on the circle because I knew I wanted to do some journaling um, and I just wanted something to anchor the journal or not the journaling I wanted a title there to the right of the of the picture um, so I have those Jenny Bolin number stickers out because I want to use them for the for the number 40 over on the side there um, and at this point I decide that I really don't like this Polaroid frame because it's too cluttered looking you, you almost can't even tell that it's a Polaroid frame because that giant number sticker number stamp is way too distracting so instead I so I recut the frame reprinted the photo and I used an Instagram a smaller Instagram stamp um, from Studio Calico and then I used the same roller date stamp by Studio Calico and that looks a lot more um, what's the word I'm looking for just not so cluttered and it kind of emphasizes the fact that it's a Polaroid frame so there you go I'm just adding a couple more date stamps there because it was there was a bit too much white space I'm gonna put some stars above the white space just to fill it out a little bit but I also have a um, today flare badge I think that's hello forever uh, it came in the kit almost everything that I'm using here came in the kit I, I think everything except for the washi tape came in the kit oh and the crepe paper is also not from the kit 
Um, so I'm just playing around with some arrows. It's looking very cluttered. I'm not really liking it, but I'm playing around with it anyways, just because, you know, you don't know what you like or don't like until you try it out. So I'm trying out everything. Um, spreading around a few of those Fifth and Frolic brads that came in the kit. And now I'm putting some of those stars. Those stars come from the border punch on the gold glitter paper. And now I'm looking for some label stickers to add as accents to my page. And I'm just looking for some colors. I want to pick up, I want a bit more blue so that blue isn't like, so that that paper isn't the only place that blue is at on the layout. And um, so I just put a tiny little label sticker with a flared kind of edge on it and a little tiny cute heart and then I'm also layering a piece of washi tape that I have cut into a little banner or flag or whatever you call those things. Oh, a nice close-up of my gray hair. <laughs> um, so there. Now that top corner is done and I'm just uh, punching a hole and putting that brad. That is the prettiest brad I've ever seen. I love that brad. It's like a, a fabric brad that says today and it has the today is in yellow and there's just the prettiest pinks above and below it. It's so pretty. Um, wanted to put a third banner up there but couldn't figure out how to do it without it looking too cluttered so I put the third banner down underneath the brad and what you can't see is that I actually just slipped it underneath the brad and then I um, put pop dots on either side of it. Added just the other side of that heart blue and cream um, banner just to have another little banner sticking out. I'm going to put pop dots on the today badge, flare badge, which is from Hello Forever, I believe. And now I'm going to look for some thickers and I'm looking for something pink and bright. And I'm going to call this layout 40. So that's a pretty small title. So I wanted a font that was going to kind of stand out from the rest of the layout. So I chose this really cool shiny font that I love and I don't think I've used it for anything else. So it was nice to get to use it. And now I'm actually grabbing my tiny letters to, or I guess I'm putting away my thickers. <laughs> and I'm grabbing my small letters and I'm gonna think about putting the word turning so that this could the title would be turning 40 um, but it's too clut it's just not what it's not the look that I'm looking for I would prefer it to be called turning 40 but I didn't want to put the word turning in there so so uh, oh and then my husband was helping me <laughs> you see his arm there um, because I wanted to call it turning 40 and he said well just put an arrow that turns and then it's kind of like turning 40 and so he was kind of helping me place some of my arrows and stuff he's a sweetheart helping me scrapbook <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what I'm doing here because I forgot to zoom out oh yes I am gluing down the little um, hearts. Whenever I use something tiny I like to use my Zig two-way glue pen because uh, it's just not as messy as other kinds of liquid glue because you just apply it where you need it. It's not, it doesn't blob or flow anywhere. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. Just spreading out a couple of those uh, glitter stars and then I decided to put that vellum arrow in there and I love it there. That's one of my favorite things on that layout gluing down the vellum red arrow that points down to 40 for the kind of to imply that we're turning 40 and now I'm putting down those Jenny Bolin number stickers that I had picked out earlier um, and I'm outlining them just because they were a little too bland on the page the the with the black background or the that really dark gray background and I was looking for a letter stick a word sticker to use there and hooray was a little bit too like okay I'm not that happy to be turning 40 that I'm saying hooray so, so I changed it from hooray to happy it looks like it says happy 40th but it's just happy it's just a, a word it wasn't meant to be a phrase um so, and I added another brad from the fifth and frolic and another little vellum arrow and now in the second little circular accent piece there, I just put a piece of washi tape and another fifth and frolic 
Brad. And on the third little circle piece, which goes off the page, I have another vellum arrow and um, I'm going to use a couple of enamel dots from my mind's eye. These are not from the kit, they're from a previous kit. I'm going to staple that hard, that arrow in place and I'm going to put a blue enamel dot and then I think I'm going to put a pink enamel dot beside it, I think. Wait for it. There we go. And now I'm going to put a, uh, a Brad there too, the fox one. Not that I think I'm a fox or anything, but you know, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, I'm so silly today. It's still the same day as this, so I'm still kind of celebrating my birthday. My mom came over and brought me a cake and we've been having a nice evening, so. I just wanted to narrate this before I go to bed. Um, so I just put some more of those little stars over there just to bring the glitter over to the side. So now you're going to see the close-up of this layout and um, I'm actually going to, I'm not going to narrate through the second part of this layout because I'm going to talk it through on the video. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or anything just leave me a comment. Take care. Okay, so hi everybody. This is the layout that I just did the process video for. Um, and when I was finished and the camera was actually uploading, the video was uploading, I decided to do a half page of journaling because I was going to go back and put some journaling kind of somewhere, but I didn't really want to um, put it anywhere on this layout and I didn't want to do hidden journaling either. So what I decided to do was I took um, part of the this background paper here is the um, Ready, Set, Go paper by Amy Tangerine and I had cut it up too much so I actually had to piece it together. I'm not sure if you can tell that um, there's actually two pieces. It's kind of a Franken layout. <laughs> Um, piece together, but because it's on the background you can't really tell. I mean there's a place here where the two pieces are slit and then there's a there's a place here where where it kind of overlaps. Um, but you know when it's in the when it's in the page protector I don't think you're going to be able to see. So I took this paper from the Ready Set Go collection because it was the it was more it kind of carried over from this and I carried over a couple of elements so I cut out some more of these um, circles from the My Mind's Eye paper right here which is pretty much hacked up now. I don't have much of this paper left and then I just kind of carried over some of the same elements. I didn't get a chance to use this little arrow piece that I hand cut from the arrow paper um, in the layout. That's this Studio Calico paper called Looky There that came in the kit. And so I got to use it here and I just added a um, Amy Tangerine vellum layered heart sticker and then I just put one of these um, glitter paper heart punches that came from this border punch and I also use those throughout this side of the layout so it kind of carries over. Um, and then I really like that this strip, uh, which is just part of the paper, um, is right here and then I just used So I also took a sticker from this Cosmo Cricut Tiny Text Dream sticker sheet, that one there. It just says, Dare to Live Your Dream, and I layered it with a, um, what is that? It's like a fabric or quilted, it's like a button or whatever, a stitched brad, I guess maybe they're called. And then this is one of the Studio Calico vellum arrows that I just stapled in place. And then on this circle, I stapled another vellum arrow. I used a bit of washi tape, an enamel dot from my mind's eye, and one of the brads from, the both of these brads are from the um, Fifth and Frolic. Then on this one, this was tiny, so I didn't want to do too much decorating. I just put a little triangular arrow and an enamel dot, stapled it on. And then right here, um, this paper, by the way, is from, I think it's from last month's kit. Um, so it was, it was just in my scraps and um, this washi tape is from my mind's eye and I think I told you about that and then I outlined it. So sorry if I'm repeating myself, it's, I started and then I stopped. These are Tim and Beck letter stickers and then these are October afternoon mini market stickers from last month's kit. 
And then I just kind of put it on there a little askew and I'm gonna put it in a six by 12 page protector right next to this one, which means that whatever I scrapbook next will either be a half or a one and a half, so. Oh yes, and then these are, um, the Girls Papery, I think makes these. And they come in a, in a spiral notebook, but I just tore the, the words out of it. And Tim Holtz, chit chat or whatever these are called. What is this called? I think it's called chit chat. Yeah, chit chat. So that's my other half. So this is sort of a one and a half, although they both kind of stand on their own. This is just the journaling and um, yeah. So I guess it's a one and a half page layout and that's what it looks like. So thanks for watching everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>